What's Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another five video. As y'all can see in the title today, I got arrested on my birthday. On my freaking birthday, y'all. It's crazy. Uh, I'm about to explain to y'all everything that happened. Um, there's some new stuff that's coming out, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this while I spark up. Cheers, guys. Make sure y'all 18 and plus, all that good stuff. And I'm about to get on to this crazy story on how I got arrested on my birthday. Hey, watch me with your block up. She be flooded like Katrina. That block up hit that lock up ever since she been a fina. I'm chilling with some Chinas, pussy drip, Aquafina. You fucking with my team and you see beam straight out the beamer. Beam straight out the benzo, good endo up out the window. Pop a bean, ain't talking pinto, it's lit. Big cigarello, I'm ballin' just like a mellow. Pop out of the cut like hello, they swear they solid but jello. No wonder you drippy fellow, ayy. Bitch, I'm from that deuce, where we known to sip the juice. And your bitch think I'm cute, cause I just pulled up in a coupe. Been serving dolly packs up in the middle of the school. Yeah, my teachers try to lock me up, I swear they goofy dudes. Now I'm pulling in that bins, I get more money than they do. And that strap up on my hip, that bitch be stuck up like some glue. Posting pics, they getting money, but be broke up in a few. It be funny as fuck. Ass rappers gonna duck. Okay, okay. So let's let's get started on this video, man. Let me turn this car off, man. Alright, so check me out. Check me out. On my birthday, right? I turn up with my boy Dombi Gucci, right? We chilling. We blowing fat woods, you know what I'm saying? Big bad woods. Gotta hit us so lit. Alright, so look, 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 So I'm riding, I'm riding around after I go to homies. You know, it's my birthday, so I wake up and I go celebrate. I go to my boy's house and we just start blazing up. Then, I go home, yada yada. I go back outside. And I, I was going to go to another homie's house to go chill, so I had some, some bud on me, you know what I'm saying? And I had the guards and everything, you know what I'm saying? And I'm driving. And on the way back, I'm driving home, right? And I'm like, dude, I, I, I was going to go to homie's, but I was like, nah, never mind. I'm just going to go back home. So now I'm going back home. And on the way back home, this is what happens. On the way back home, I just see some lights. I'm like, oh man, you know? And it's just like, it didn't even hit me like as a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it was normal. So I was like, you know what? It's about time, you know what I'm saying? It's my birthday though, it's my birthday. So I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, oh man, not my birthday. And I, I try to turn to the right and he put more sirens on like, you know, extra beeps and shit. And I'm like, oh shit, it's for me. So I, I pull over to the, like a, a smoke shop. And right before then, I had Pizza Hut. This is where it's going to get interesting. So I go, I pull over. He's, he, he, I rolled down my window. I'm like, yes, officer. He's like, um, I pulled you over because your third tail light's out. And I said, oh, okay. Um, he's like, driver's registration. So I go look for my driver's registration. Um, I couldn't find my driver's license. But anyway, so I tell him that. He's like, okay, get out the vehicle. Now, I got my pistol on me in my pocket. So I tell him, sir, I have a firearm in my pocket. And he says, okay, get back in the vehicle. Put your hands on your face. So I put my hands on my face and he reaches from there. Or no, he opens the door and then he takes the firearm out of my, my pants. And then, um... He takes it out of my pants and then that's when the there's two cops matter of fact it was one right here and then one came this way but this cop took the pistol out of my pocket this cop i they said is there anything else you need to know in the vehicle they're gonna search the vehicle of course you know i was blazing a blunt all the way home um so it smelled kind of like reefer and um long story short what ended up happening was i t i did admit that i had some bud in my backpack of course you know and I'm not gonna lie, it's my birthday, why not turn up? So, this will end up happening. He finds the weed, he finds the gun, they lay it out in front of me and they tell me what my charges are. Not my charges, but they tell me my Miranda rights or whatever. But when we go inside the car, uh, his car, and then now he's saying, if someone can't pick up this car, it's gonna have to get towed. So, I don't know my grandma's number, I don't know my mom's number, I don't know, you know, I don't have a dad, I don't have, you know, people that could come get this car that's insured, you know? 
Long story short, I just... He tells me he could go through my phone. So I said, okay, bet. Let me see if I can find somebody's number. So boom, I found my grandma's number. Thank God. So I call my grandma. Or he calls my grandma. And he's having this whole conversation, yada, yada. While he's having this conversation, I start hallucinating for some reason. I start feeling so weird. Like, you ever get up too fast and it's just, you black out? I felt like that, but it wasn't going away. So I couldn't, I couldn't see I couldn't really function. It was so weird. I never had this happen to me before. Ever. So what ended up happening was I was food poisoned by Pizza Hut that same day that I got arrested on my birthday. I was fucking food poisoned by Pizza Hut. How do I know this? I'll tell y'all right now. So what ended up happening was he t he he's calling my grandma, whatever. He comes back in the squad car and he's like, I can't believe you did this to me. I'm like, what happened, sir? He's calling the towing now. I'm like, wow, what the hell? What's, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, I need water. I need water. Boom, I finally get out the car. And I no, I tell him I'm going to throw up. So they open the door. And I just fucking throw up all the Pizza Hut. Like, after that, I felt so much better. The officer was telling me, it's because what you ate. And then, because obviously, if you throwed it up, you felt better. It's what you ate. But, like... So I got whatever, food poisoning or whatever, how you want to call it. But that was not helpful, you know. So boom, I throw up, get back in the squad car. And um, that at this point, they're just checking if the gun has any murders on it, yada, yada. You know, they brought the, you know, the gun pe people or whatever. But look, um, long story short, I go to the, this, this magistrate. It's called the magistrate, guys, if y'all don't know about, like, older people stuff. So I go to the magistrate. For about 16 hours, right? I qualified for a PR bond. Y'all look that up if y'all don't know what it is. But the 18th hour, I go... 17th hour, I go get called. They're about to release me on PR bond. Last minute, they say your PR bond was denied. And in one hour, you got to go to the county jail. I said, what the... Y'all could have tell me that like five hours ago so I could have someone bail me out of here? So boom, we go to the jail. And um, they said we could get a phone call in jail. So I'm like, okay, I could call, you know, maybe somebody like a Bell's Bond person that I just called in the magistrate for, for you know what I'm saying, to get out. So boom, we go to the cell. I'm in this cell now in jail. And this is the worst jail in the country, by the way. San Antonio, Texas County, Bear County uh, Adult Detention Center. Worst jail in the country. Look it up. So we go in this jail. There's 30 people in one room. It's pure torture. They're playing the same video of Prison Rape Elimination Act video over and over and over and over and over again. Dude, it's pure torture. Like, it's just... I know every single word of that, that video now. And in Spanish. Let me remind you, that's so annoying. And the speakers are bumping. You can't sleep. I did not get to brush my teeth the whole time in magistrate. Did not get to shower. I didn't even get to eat. They didn't even have no food for us. Boom. We go to the jail. I'm thinking there's going to be like some sandwiches, some type of food. There's still no food. No no shower, none of that. That's, that's day two. Day three, we finally move to the next room without all the loud repeating video. Still no shower. Still no brushing my teeth. We finally got some sandwich. A sandwich, right? Boom. So nasty, rotten meat. Really, really rotten meat. Smells like weenie water. Anyway, so, boom. I'm hungry as heck. They still haven't got me no phone call or no phone call setup, which is your, like, SIM, I don't know, some type of number you have to get. But they didn't give me that number I had to get to make a phone call, my free phone calls. So what ended up happening was, finally, like the third day, I finally get information to get a free phone call. So I put that in the phone, in my cell with the 30 people, you know, we're still in the booking. And for three days, dude, like, fuck. So, I'm finally in that shit. And I'm calling and calling. No bail bonds are answering. I did every single bail bond probably at least 20, 50 times. Every single bail bond. Calling, 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 calling. I have the money in my property, but nobody could get me out of jail. Nobody. Nobody but people on the outside. And you can't even reach somebody because the people that are in that facility will not help you at all. I told him, sir, this phone doesn't work. I was in a cell for five hours with a phone that didn't work. Then I finally go to a cell thinking that that's going to work. And they don't even answer the calls when you're in Bexar County, um, Bear County. The, the Bells Pond don't answer your calls if you're inside there. 
They only answer the calls on the people on the outside or magistry because if you call from the magistry, you have not that regular, you have different phones. It's kind of weird. It's really kind of weird. But anyway, so long story short, what I'm trying to explain to y'all is I was getting pure tortured in there. I was starving, starving so much. I lost probably like five pounds in there, dude, in like four days. So finally, we finally get this stuff done. We finally go to the main jail. Boom. I still don't have no one's number. I still don't know how, how I'm going to get home. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get home at all. I start calling people I would never even think about. Just to see, like, I don't know how to get home. You know what I'm saying? There's no way I could escape. And they weren't letting me, giving me any information or anything about how to get bailed out or anything like that. So what ended up happening was, <sighs> God's great. God's great. There was just, it's a long story, but I finally got a hold of my grandma, right? I finally get a hold of my grandma, and that's when um, she signs out my property, and I get bailed out. Um, but then I, it wasn't even over then, right? They did not wake me up for breakfast, lunch, none of that shit when I finally got into the, the, the main jail. And I woke up, I only ate some dinner, right? And it was like some biscuits and rice, right? But like they said that they fucked the biscuits. So I couldn't even eat the biscuits. Then I tried to eat the rice and that shit was bland as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It was so bland that I didn't even want to eat it. Fuck that. I didn't even want to eat that shit. I didn't eat it. And I remember I was like, boom, I'm going to get out anyway. I just got bailed out. So boom, I go into another cell. They finally bailing me out. And um, I went in this cell for tw 14 hours, dude. 14 more hours in a random ass cell that had period pads in it. Let me remind you, the booking, those two days we were in that cell, there was shit in the fucking toilet, flooded with piss all over the floor. <coughs> All the people there, like, we all stink, nigga. Like, we, we all didn't take a shower. All our breath stinks, you know what I'm saying? I got, it was just like, I'm very high maintenance, you know what I'm saying? I love brushing my teeth every day, probably like two, three times a day. And I didn't even brush my teeth for three, two, three fucking days, you know what I'm saying? Four days, matter of fact. Four days. Finally going to take a shower, guys. Guess what happens? Some dude tries to walk in the fucking shower that I'm in, dude. This dude tried to rape me type shit or something. Like, I guess he thought I was really skinny, but, like, I'm, I'm cut. You know what I'm saying? I'm cut. Like, I don't know. I, I'm a little, you know what I'm saying, cut. But he, he, pulls, he pulls, oh, dude, dude, he pulls up. Bro, hell no. Nah. I just, I remember, like, posting up, bro. Fuck that. That scared the fuck out of me. I thought this nigga was going to try something. Mm-mm. I was the youngest person there. Like, I looked like the youngest person there. So I already knew, like... I'll be the first person if anything happened like that. I'll probably be the first person to get picked out. So I was like, fuck that. I was always on my guard, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was so tortured, man. Like, I remember being in my cell and I knew nobody could get me out. It felt like I was dead. It felt like nobody cared, bro. Like, it was hard, bro. Like, that place, I know people that committed suicide in there that I knew. And I always wonder why they thought that. And then when I was in that cell and I was going through the experience I was going through, I felt that way. Nobody could get me out of jail, bro. I got out of jail. I was blessed. If I never got that number, I would have still been in jail to this day. Nobody would have heard about me. But guess what? I'm blessed. I'm here smoking the wood. You know what I'm saying? Living good. Just ordered some food. You know what I'm saying? I got my bins back. Oh, they towed my car, right? They towed my fucking car. I had to pay my bail, dude. That's a lot of fucking money, guys. You know what I'm saying? I had to pay my bail. I just went to go see the bail bond person right now. I had to pay for my car back. You don't even want to know how much that was. And they tacked on... You don't even want to know how much every day, dude. That's just fucking ridiculous. But, how y'all doing, man? How's life? How y'all doing? Y'all already know what's up, man. Now I have no warrant. Now I could go do shows everywhere. <laughs> It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. But I wish this all didn't happen on my birthday. You see, that's probably the most biggest life experience you would ever face in your life. This is something I will remember my whole life. What'd you do when your 19th birthday? Oh, I was sitting in the worst jail in the country for the very first time. You know, I hate to say it, but I learned my lesson. I really did. I got to realize that. It woke me up, you know, it was like, you got to put God in front of some things, you know, and I was kind of losing it a little bit. 
So now I'm back on track. That really woke me up, you know. God put me there, and we had a speech about about some shit, and it wouldn't have been possible if this never happened. So now I know my place, and I'm just gonna continue making good music. I'm gonna continue, you know, making videos and stuff. Um, if they offer me probation time, I'm not gonna do probation, guys. I'm just gonna do like some serve time. If I have to go do some time, I'm gonna do serve time. Cause y'all know I won't make it on probation, guys. I've been on probation since I was 12 years old. Since, <laughs> y'all understand. Damn, it's a blessing though just to be here, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all give it a big thumbs up. All that good stuff. Uh, big Woods, y'all already know what's up, man. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we still got some time. Damn, it's hot as hell in here. I'm about to turn on this AC real quick. <coughs> oh yeah, my fucking battery was dead in the jump place. I mean, at the jump place, at the towing place. I kind of figured, cause it's been like a couple days. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But like, it wasn't, it wasn't like 100% accurate, guys. They're breaking laws in there. If if the news team would have came in there and seen how they're running shit, there was a kid that almost committed suicide in front of everybody. This dude was banging his head on the wall, knocking himself out almost three times in an hour. Dude, this dude needed some help. He could. There's no way you you could let him in there like that. Like. Y'all have to like restrain him down or something and be watching him because like he was really, really killing himself. And if he would have died, all those people in that room watching him die, I'm pretty sure that's murder, is it? Is it not? This is ridiculous, guys. All those cops were sheriffs. I watched every single one of those cops ignore me, ignore my calls, ignore that I was hungry, ignore that we needed to brush our teeth, ignore any simple fact that we needed help. They did not understand the feeling. It's, it's hard. They're breaking so much laws there. And it's sad to see that all those cops that were in there, every single cop, every single one of them, is foul. Trust me. I know when I see a good person. There was one good person. It was the PR Bond dude. That's the only guy. And he's not even an officer. Every single officer was laughing at that kid dying, killing himself. Dude. My friend committed suicide in there. And people were like, they do hourly checks, right? He committed suicide. They do they do hourly checks and they don't even care about us. They don't look in there. They do not look in our cell. They don't. I told them I was going to hurt myself. And I pretended to hang myself to see what they would do. And they did not do nothing. I said, what the f... Dude, y'all... Wow. We tell them about the flood in the toilet. Never got to it. Never. Never. Guys, this is crazy, guys. I'm telling y'all. That was a crazy experience for me. But what don't kill you make you stronger, you know? It's how I'm going to go back. It's If I go 